Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition, and we are going to continue with modifying and building this giant new nomadic bus. And uh, I asked you guys in the last episode to come up with a name for this thing, and I think I have found my favorite name. And my favorite name is a callback to the previous survival series. We're going to name this thing the Hank Tank. Surprisingly, multiple people actually seem to have independently suggested the same idea. And I think it's a brilliant idea because unfortunately we don't have Hank in this survival world. He was in our previous survival world. But uh, the least we could do is name this tank of a vehicle after him. And the Hank tank just, <laughs> it just sounds amazing to be honest. So I am all for that. Um, so a couple of things. Uh, tonight I'm going to try to farm. Because, uh, I need food. I am out of- I have two carrots left. I really need some food. I think I'm just gonna focus on stuff to eat, but you know what else? I'll try to, uh, how about I make a cookbot? I think I have enough materials. I hope I have enough materials to make a cookbot. Uh, I think I need ten of these, and I think I need ten component kits. There's ten component kits right there. And I have the tier two metal on me already. If I remember correctly, I think that's all I need to make a cookbot. There we go. So we're going to craft ourselves a cookbot somewhere. I don't know where. I'll, I'll figure out where I'm going to put the cookbot. But for now, he's just going to be placed in some kind of temporary spot. Maybe I can give the cookbot a uh, some type of mini bar up on the roof somewhere. That might be kind of fun. Maybe I'll, I'll put him over by the bed. I'll just put him right uh, here for now. So what does it take to make uh, these things? So these things both fill all of our meters to the max. I think this is a veggie burger is actually kind of better. So we'll plant some carrots, beets, and tomatoes tonight. So let's go to the water because we need to get some glue anyway so we can make some more sensors. Let's find a spot by the water. I think we have everything we need from this mechanic station. And oh boy, the lag is getting kind of real. I may need to make some adjustments. I might have to resort to welding my mining vehicle to this thing. Um, I also haven't enabled my spud guns yet. So that's something that I have to remember to do. Oh, here's some water. And there's some stone, plenty of stone to mine because we actually need more materials because I, I'm running out. I don't, I don't have enough uh, tier three wood to keep building this thing. So that's another thing that has to happen in this episode is getting those materials. But this is a great spot for stone. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, get out of here. I, I may need to. No, no, no. Get out. I got stuck on the doorway. I may need to move those chests that are above my seat. Excuse you, can you not- can you get away from my vehicle that I spent a lot of time building, please? I mean, it is a lot more armored than it used to be, so we have less to worry about as far as that goes. But still, it's the principle. Oops, I'm stupid. I put it on a lift, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to- I'm gonna have to figure out a convenient way to weld this thing. I mean, maybe I can just do something like that. Uh, let's put this down. I don't know if this is going, this is not going to work very well, I don't think. But let's see what happens if I weld it right there. And then put this back up. I don't think it's going to go all the way. Oh. It actually works. So yeah, anyway, let's get to uh, planting. I need to put some of this stuff away. All right, and it begins. This is our first time actually moving anywhere with this base and uh, with this new mobile base and actually planting a farm. So we're finally starting our new nomadic lifestyle with our new nomadic home. Well, it's kind of like it's the old nomadic lifestyle, but with the new nomadic home. All right, I, d I gave a kind of a random assortment of just all three ingredients that I need for the veggie burger. So in about 21, oh no, I made the mistake again. I have a raid right now. Why did I do that? No, 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 no. I'm using my spud gun. I'm using my spud gun. No, I don't need the spud gun for these guys. Ah, I'm so stupid sometimes. Dang it. All right, I'll plant some more carrots in the meantime. Oh, another one. Are you kidding me? They did so much damage to the farm. Uh, I thought I was already past the uh, the 24 hour mark, but I guess not. So now I gotta plant more stuff all over again. Dang it. 
All right, I believe everything is planted again and watered, so uh, I think we're good to continue on. And now in 21 minutes, everything should be uh, sprouting. Okay, so one of the things that, are, that has been mentioned in the comments a lot is that these steering bars that I've created for my front wheels here, um, apparently I only need one of these bars instead of both. I built it with both because I, I like the way it looks like symmetrical and also the, the extra bearing adds more power but I don't think we're gonna need all of that power for steering. I should put these buckets back. I don't think we're gonna need all that power for steering. So I guess let's uh, let's try it and just see how it feels with just the one because the other benefit is that this will lower the complexity of the vehicle, which will also lower the leg because of course over time, we're gonna get more and more complicated. So anywhere that we can cut down leg without sacrificing functionality is a uh, welcome change. So let's give that a try and see how it feels. Hopefully we still get neg we can hopefully we can still negate the floppy wheels. I mean it seems to look fine. I think it'll be fine. I hope. Okay, I actually it seems like the biggest material missing is wood rather than stone. So I think instead of mining this stuff here, I need I need another beacon. I need to mark this farm so I can come back. We need a radio. I need glue. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I need. All right, I'm gonna do a glue one a glue, blah, 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 real quick. And uh, that way I can craft a radio and then a beacon. All right, I have achieved glue clam. Now give glue, please. Thank you. All right, so this is gonna get crafted into a radio and then also a sensor. We need another sensor for our automatic seat detection sensors. And while that's crafting, might as well cut down a tree. So cutting down this tree actually gives me a great opportunity to test out if my uh, nomad vehicle here, if, if, if the Hank tank can actually drive over and pick up these rods with how I have put the resource collectors. So let's see what happens. Ready? Yeah, it works. Everything is working just fine. All right, so now have we finished crafting the things? Yep. All right, so now I have a third sensor that I can put right here. All right, there we go. Now we have our whole sensor set up here and that does not interfere with the stairs at all. So it's all good. Okay, let's get our beacon. We're gonna mark the farm. How much time we got left? We got half the day left. All right, farm is here. So let's, uh, my plan is to actually, uh, I don't have a tree logging vehicle right now. So I'm gonna follow the road and hope that I come upon one of those scrap towns. Oh my goodness, oh my good. Should we try to make that jump? I'm gonna try to make that jump. This is the stupidest idea. Whoa, 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 did my wheels just flop going backwards? Oh, that's an issue. That right there, going backwards, we get the flop, look at that, what? I may need to put those rods back. Because going forwards, they don't have an issue, but going backwards, that was definitely an issue. All right, well, we'll take care of that later. We have a jump to jump across. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is absolutely a terrible idea. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness, we made it. How did we even, what? That was actually like smooth. But yeah, I think I might have to implement those steering bars again. And what is this? Is this a little scrap town here? Yes, it is. Unlooted too, we'll get plenty of wood from this. I may need some more of these awnings too, actually. I'll take these with me as well. Cause I just realized I also gotta implement that awning system. All right, I pretty much got as much wood as I can from these towns. Let's put them in the craft bot and we're gonna keep that tier one wood crafting and also leading into tier two wood. So we can continue crafting some tier three wood. Okay, we have not a lot of time. So I think I'm actually just gonna head back to my farm then. Oh boy, we're going off a cliff here. Let's see how we go. I'm actually, I'm impressed with this vehicle's jumping abilities. I think I've been getting lucky, but I'm impressed nonetheless. All right, while we wait for the crops to start sprouting, one thing I will do is actually paint the lights white. That is one thing I will paint right now because the, the orange lighting is just terrible. There we go. All right, we don't have a whole lot of paint. Can I actually make any more paint? I can make one more paint, that, that's it. All right, has anything sprouted yet? Oh, a little bit. Just a couple of things have sprouted so far. There we go. Yeah. All right, so I have some of the ingredients, so can I make, oh yeah, I'm gonna make, uh, well, I guess I can only make one at a time. 
But yeah, I'm gonna craft a bunch of veggie burgers out of these ingredients that I'm getting right now. All right, farm is all picked up and we have 40 seconds till the raise. So I'm gonna move my base just a little farther away. And also I've got veggie burgers crafting from everything that I just planted and picked up. So we're gonna have a veggie burger diet very soon. All right, the raid is active. So let's take a look and see what's showing up and where are they showing up? They're surrounding that tree. I only see, what? I see a haybot and a greenie. That ca oh, there's two haybots. I see another haybot now. That can't be all. Oh, there's a greenie behind that rock over there in the distance. Here, let's, uh, I guess let's, let's use our, oh, there's three haybots. Okay. I think I could just use my hammer on these guys. <laughs> Look at the greenies swimming out there. Just like, they're looking for like, where'd he go? He must've been by the water somewhere. This guy isn't even fighting back. Well, that was a really small raid considering the size of the farm. All right, well, our hunger is getting kind of low and we also have damaged health and our thirst is kind of low. So let's eat our first veggie burger right here. All right, excellent. So he's got to eat one of those every so often and we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and keep crafting them. I'm just going to literally, I, I can craft as much as tomatoes as I have. I have six tomatoes. So I'll just keep crafting them until I run out of tomatoes. How are we doing on this stuff? Looks like we're doing pretty good. I'll start pushing this into tier three metal as well. I mean, tier three wood as well. All right, that was a successful night. All right, I gotta put some lights in here. It is too dark in this vehicle right now. I have a bunch of these ambient lights. So it is time to put them to use. All right, well, the sun came up, so it's harder to see the impact now, but I put six lights in this vehicle and I think I've evenly spaced them apart. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the uh, cookbot red because of course it has to be red. Oh, it's got another burger for me. All right, keep on making the burgers, little guy. Look at that. He does a great job. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's junk. Whoa. Whoa. There's a fancy chef here. All good? All good? Oh, wow. That, I actually, I don't know why I never watched him cook very much. That's impressive. He's an impressive cook. Okay, so let's go ahead and add back what I had with the steering down here for now and see if it does help with the floppy wheels going backwards. All right, there we go. They've been added back on. So let's do a stress test. We'll go forward and backwards at max speed. All right, forward looks fine. They're not folding in and backwards. They are definitely not folding in anymore. So yeah, uh, apparently that does help with structural integrity, having both of those bars. It is going to lower the frames in the long run as we make this vehicle more complex, but at least for now, it's gonna help us out. Oh, we got a couple more stacks. I may actually be able to fill in, uh, I think the ceiling I wanna fill in before the walls. So let's go ahead and fill in some of these here. That way we actually have a top floor. Oh boy, this is actually cutting it. Wow, I have 13 wood blocks left after just filling in the top floor. Man, this stuff is, uh, this stuff's expensive. Okay, well, another comment I saw is uh, a lot of people didn't like that that rail on top doesn't match up with the curve of this. So I figured let's make it match up. All right, does this look better? You like this? Man, look at how much we are sliding. This is just stupid. <laughs> but uh, take a look at the top roof now. Um, I feel like this adds some room to put something cool up in the front there. I don't know what that is yet. Do we have any other lighting options besides this? We do not. This is literally the only light that we have unless we find it somewhere else. I'm gonna get out of here and go to another body of water and we're gonna plant another farm tonight, but somewhere else, cause we're nomads. All right, so now let's hook up the spud guns again. I need to hook the ammo container up to these spud guns. I'll actually put the logic into the dashboard here because I think it'll be kind of cool just having this extra stuff like on display. All right, so now when we press number two, we should shoot. All right, seems good to me. I don't want to waste too much ammo on that. Okay, how much more tier three wood have we crafted? 210. I just want to fill in the walls of this and that is getting close to all of it. We don't even have enough to fill out that part. Yep, so now the craft bot is on display right here so we can access it from the outside. And actually, aren't we near a pack? We're near a packing station. Let me see if this thing actually works for its intended purpose. So I guess the, uh, the ideal way to do it is by pulling in from this direction and then doing a big turn over here, oh boy, we cut that close. Lining up with that yellow line. 
And then I just got to line this thing up. Oh, look at that. And now it's ready for whatever pump I go next to. Oh, we're not, didn't get quite close enough to those ones. Here we just got, yeah, we just got to move a little bit closer like that. All right, and then that works. All right, I'm going to plant tonight's farm right here, and I'm going to do the same thing. We're just going to get a whole bunch of food prepared because we're all out of... Yeah, we just need the same thing. Uh, carrots, beets, and tomato. All right, new farm is planted. I'll, I'm not going to go that far away, but just to be safe so I don't lose it, I will put the beacon back down. All right, let's go back to the uh, packing station, and we can do our building there. All right, so up next, I want to add the awning back in, but I'm wondering which side I should add it on. I, I'm thinking I want to add it on this side with the craft bot because I'm hoping that they'll be able to cover up the craft bot. I mean, I guess it depends. We we don't necessarily need the head of the craft bot visible, do we? Oh, that was all my materials. <laughs> I'm going to need to get some more wood back. Oh, we're, we're crafting wood. There we go. 30 wood now. All right, there we go. That's looking good. Let's get a view from up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot if I get in my seat, it actually closes. Well, let's go up the stairs. This is looking nice. I like this. On this side, so all of this is going to be closed in. I still don't have enough material to close um, much of any of this. And I can do that and that. And that is pretty much it right there. So I think I do want this to also have some type of retractable door, maybe? I think that might be kind of cool if this actually has a closed door of some sort, but uh, not quite yet. All right, so now let's do some mining because we really need some metal. All right, I'm gonna try my best to mine this stuff over here. It's uh, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And the cool thing that I've designed this to be able to do is I can remove the resource collectors really, really easy and just replace them. So that way I can easily collect the stone and stuff while I'm mining without having to bring my entire vehicle trying to navigate it through these uh, uneven terrains. Mining seems to be having some hiccups a lot more than I previously had and it may just be my vehicle, like just that vehicle existing causing it. I don't know yet. I, uh, I, I will have to experiment with putting the vehicle on a lift and see if it gets better. But yeah, I definitely, a lot of times it's taking more time than it normally would take when I'm mining this stuff. Sometimes it's fine, like right here it seems to be doing pretty fine. But yeah, a lot of it has been unexpectedly delayed. All right, and I think that is the entirety of it. So let's go ahead and put it all in the resource collector and get refining. No! Dang it. All right, I've got a whopping uh, 30 metal out of that. So uh, I've had better. All right, I should be able to easily place it right back in there just like that. And we can do some more mining, but actually uh, we need to pick up our farm now. So let's get this vehicle welded back on and let's head back over to the farm. Okay, and with 40 seconds to spare, farm is all packed up. I can get some more veggie burgers crafting and let's go ahead and get ready for this raid. All right, two, one, and here we go. All right, I see I see two farm bot or two hay bots. There should be more hay bots than that. Three hay bots and a handful four uh, greenies. So should I try to ram into them? See what happens? Wait, why is my uh, thing not going down? Oh, I have that reversed. Whoops. All right, there we go. All fixed. All right, I'm just gonna try to drive into them. I want to get these resources. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. Good thing I'm welded. Oh no, how do I get out of this thing like this? <gasps> get on the lift. Okay, there we go, we're on the lift. Oh no. What if I just drop him on? I think that worked. Ha <laughs> ha, that actually worked. That was kind of great. All right, flipping over is a little precarious. All right, well, I think we did it. I think we killed them all. And I think I'm refining one of their spines. Oh, no, I just killed another one. Another raid very uh, expertly ran into with uh, the Hank Tank. <laughs> I love the actually The name is definitely growing on me more and more. Okay, I need to mine some more. So let's find a stone worth mining. Oh, there we go. I think I see it. Yep. This is it right here. Found it. All right, so I'm gonna leave the hang tank on a lift while I mine and see if that helps, uh, see if that makes the mining back to what it was before. A little bit more consistent. 
All right, so far everything seems to be working pretty well. Yep. I think that may have been it, but only time will tell. It's about uh, the long-term consistency. Okay, I just did an experiment and it actually makes a huge difference as, whether, as to whether or not the hang tank is on a lift or not. When the hang tank is not on a lift, the mining is noticeably slower. And then as soon as I put the hang tank on a lift, all of a sudden everything's super fast. So there is definitely a pretty big uh, difference, a pretty big issue with that. So it does seem like lag, laggy parts and uh, complex things will impact your mining speed. Man, look at all this stuff. This is such a good rock node. All right, I think we're already full on that one. All right, it is all mined up. This node had a ton of stone in it. Look at this, I can't even keep up with it. But I'm gonna just start filling this up now. We have a ton of metal from this one, actually. This has been a really worthwhile trip. Oh, I need more water. Oh, okay, look at this. More water is needed. Which means I should take, where's the water, uh, chest? Man, I was not expecting to run out of all these materials so quickly. But while that's doing its thing, I have an idea for the cookbot, actually. I kind of feel like with these awnings on the side, like we have this, and then we just have a whole lot of nothing over here. So what if we could station the cookbot as if this was a food truck? And the cookbot could have some type of you know, opening here or something. We need to see what it's like on the inside. All right, we have this chest here, so we can't use that chest. This is where another the water chest is gonna go right there. So what if the cookbot has a little bit of a stand here? Can we, oh, let me get this out of the cookbot. How does the cookbot look if we put it right? Oh, that that's gonna prevent us from actually navigating this area though. Well, if you put the cookbot right up into the window, it actually doesn't. Look at that, how does that look from the outside? That's actually pretty cool, I kind of do like that. Does that allow the thing to still close? Yep, doesn't seem like it interferes at all with that. All right, so while the chest is vacuuming up some of the water, I'm gonna do an experiment here and see if I can actually transition this into a tree logging vehicle for the big pine trees. There we go, so I'm hoping all I have to do is really just get rid of that and then here, let me see what happens if I pull this up. Put that right there. Put that right there. I don't know. That's not going to work. I need to move the bearings, I think. I'm going to put a bearing there and a bearing there. All right, so now I got these saw blades like this. So I'm just going to approach a tree and see what happens. All right, wish me luck. Please don't fall in the water. Why are you falling towards the water? It's falling towards the water. Oh, look at this. Man, this is in the worst spot. All of the rods are gonna fall into the water. Oh wait, actually, can I use my weld tool with this in creative? Oh, I can. All right, well then we can do this. Do that, and now it will no longer be an issue. All right, so I'm hoping I'll just be able to drive into it from here and then just slowly mine everything. Look at that, that actually works great. Just like this. Yep, lift it up and go forward. Put it down. Oh my goodness, this is a really easy convertible. I can just convert this by taking the drills off, putting the saws on, like really easily. Look at how quickly this is going. Man, all, I'm just realizing all of those super complicated vehicles I built for mining and logging, they were way over-engineered. Way over-engineered in my last survival series. If you guys didn't see that survival series, oh my goodness, look at the flash, like the flashing from the lights and the saws. But yeah, if you guys missed that, it's definitely wor worth uh, checking out. Hey, 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 where you going? That thing's not gonna stop rolling until it gets to the water. All right, and you know what? <laughs> When it comes to this, oh my god, this is actually perfect. Because I don't need to do that resource collector thing when it comes to this. Once I've done this and got through it all, all I gotta do is move this out of the way. I'm gonna put this res- oh, why is it so laggy? It is so laggy right now. I have- what just happened? Why is that so much more laggy than normal? Did something happen, happen on this? Well, anyway, I, I'm gonna fix that by putting it on a lift, but I can just drive over it. 
Oh, all of that stuff was laggy with it. But I just drive over it and I just picked all of that up in my two resource collectors. Look at that. Is that great or what? That is an awesome method right there. All right, we can put that in the resource collector. So now I'm, I just got myself a whole bunch of wood. So, ooh, ooh, here's an idea. Here, let's put this back down. I'm gonna put this back on a lift. This is amazing. This is actually, this is an awesome revelation right here. I'm gonna chop down a couple of these trees. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be actually, I think this is gonna be awesome. All right, there we go. That tree's chopped down. It'll fall wherever it falls. Please don't go in the water. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, and get it at the stump. Oh, that wasn't completely the stump, but it'll be fine. All right, so check this out. I'm going to weld this tree. Can I do this? To this tree. <laughs> Oh no, I can't actually I don't have I can't see an end of this right now And then I'm gonna put a block on the end of this tree And then I'm going to weld this tree to the back of this Don't worry. This is all gonna make sense soon. And then I drop this down right there And this is going to create a laggy mess. I'm sure but I am just going to cut all the way down until I get to my vehicle and then I get in the vehicle and drive backwards and there's probably going to be more here than my resource collectors can even pick up. But let's go for it. All right, here it is, the final one right here. Uh, this is the laggiest the game has ever been, and it's gonna get even laggier once I drop my creation off the lift. I hope this isn't gonna be a mistake, but uh, two trees may have been a little much, but look at that line. All right, here we go. Oh no. I'm hoping I'll just be able to back over this and the lag will get less and less as I pick up all of these resource rods. Come on, pick them up. There they go, one by one, or actually four by four. And eventually we're gonna run out of room. Look at that, we're still picking them up. And it's getting more and more frames back and we are done. We cannot pick up any more. I actually need more resource collectors now. But how amazing is that method? This is like accidentally the most efficient logging system I've ever come up with. Look at this. Look at how neat this is! As long as you're on flat ground, I mean. But there's so much, like, there's so many pine trees by the water for, like, flat areas. This is such an easy method. I could probably do one pine tree and fill up both resource containers. Like, we are creating so- Oh, the I forgot. I still have the water pump over here somewhere. I almost completely forgot about this. I gotta put this back into the crafting chain. Alright, now we can create a lot more of this tier 2 metal. And I need a lot more of the tier 2 metal because I need to make a lot more of tier 2 wood in order to keep making tier 3 wood. But that was a... Yeah, we have a lot more metal now, so that's good. 173 metal that we got. Tier 1 wood was the big one, but we're getting tons of it now just because we converted our mining vehicle into a logging vehicle very easily. Alright, so it looks like we can pick up some more, so let's go ahead and uh, do some more driving over this. Get some more of these materials in there. Let's see how many more we can pick up as we drive over. Oh, it gets laggy as I drive over it. But there we go, and we are full up again. I mean, the fact that we can just weld trees like that into whatever position we want them to be in, just it's gonna make doing that method so convenient. All right, we are almost done. Just a few more rods left. Actually, look at this. All right, we did it. We got all the rods in now. And check out, I'll actually, with the awning and the craft bot here, this looks like an amazing food truck. All right, how much more tier three wood do we have? 80 so far, it's slow going. All right, now do we have enough to fill in this stuff? There's one, and no, we are so close. We are so close. Just a little bit more, any second now. There it is. And finally, we've done it. We have put all of the tier three wood on here, I think that I wanted to put on here to create the entire casing of this vehicle. This is looking 
awesome. There's so much room for activities up here. All right, so there we go. The Hank Tank has been converted into a food truck and the mining vehicle has been converted into the best logging vehicle ever. How satisfying was that logging session there? Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see happen to this thing and in the future of the series. Uh, we still have, I have took a big pause from the, uh, the side goal, the side quest of trying to get the other spud guns. So we still have to get some more broccoli, a lot of broccoli and pineapple. So we got to do some high tier farming, but of course there's some room for this. What should I do with the bed? Where should the bed be? Should I have, oh, this could actually be probably converted into like a bedroom back here. Maybe if I put this sideways, I think this way actually makes more sense, doesn't it? I don't know, but we could have, uh, what should we have upstairs? Let me know what you think we should have on the roof here. Anyway, looking forward to your feedback down in the comments below. Obviously, I do read them. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some other stuff that you can see on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.